Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we did our mandatory explore day for the month. So I think we'll probably be battling for most of the rest of the month as well as we got that uh, dancing tournament for Dorothea to win because I can't see any way that she possibly loses it. But we have some paralogues to do. This one's new pretty sure and we didn't acquire anyone for that so we should take the lowest level ones first so we got these two as our lowest level all of them have the same available dates so we'll start with this one down here see what it's all about probably should have read that thing but it's too late now The cause of sorrow. It's raining, Professor. On rainy days, the wound I got from the Death Knight hurts like fire. Every time it aches, I get angry. You understand, yeah? I'm sure they had their reasons to kidnap Flame, but still. Did they really need to stab me? What'd I have to do with it? They ruined my beautiful porcelain skin. Worse, they took off before I could stab them back. So rude. <laughs> That's rather enough, Manuela. Cease your moaning and give the professor a break. Oh, stop it, Hanneman. Unlike you, the professor has a big heart and listens to me talk about any problem I have. More likely, your incessant ramblings offer no chance <laughs> to interrupt. Is that true, <clears throat> professor? Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna say Hanneman is right, mostly because I don't like Manuela that much. You heard that, didn't you, Manuela? You are bothering the professor. Ugh, go away, Hanneman. <laughs> Leave us alone. And stop making me shout. It causes the old wound to hurt again. Then perhaps you'd best stay quiet. Keep your emotions in check, I'd say. Oh, don't worry, Professor. We do this all the time. Indeed. Manuela and I do not mix well. Been true for years. That said, if it were up to me, I would prefer speaking to her in a calmer manner. It's not like I enjoy bickering with you. So maybe keep your mouth shut now. <laughs> I state that which needs to be heard. For example... <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Same, same. Apologies. I am here because I have new information on the Death Knight's hiding place. What? Really? You could have started with that. Several students have reported possible sightings on the western edge of the sealed forest. While the authenticity of these reports has yet to be verified, it is still a very real possibility. I was thinking I would report this to Second as a precaution. What? Why? We can't be slow. He's going to get away. Protocol on this matter requires reporting to Seven. Then Lady Rhea. Then Professor, let's leave this old geezer behind and get going. Old geezer? I am barely 15 years your senior. I will not hear such <laughs> Barely 15 years? Stop talking. Let's gather a team and get going. I agree. I'll go scout ahead. I'm coming for you, Death Knight. Manuela, wait. It would not do to get yourself killed without someone. <laughs> yeah, at least bring someone to avenge you. Well, we're probably going to be forced to have both uh, Manuela and Hanuman, which is not great as I don't use them at all, but that's how it goes. We should be able to build a fairly good team out of the rest of the people. 
Oh, it's this map. We only get seven people and two of them are taken up by Manuela and Hanneman? This is horrible. We do, we do have two adjutants. Gotta keep that in mind. Hmm. I would like to bring, like, Lawrence. Lysithia just classed up. But I think she doesn't necessarily need to come unless there's a lot of armored knights like last time. Let's look at what is actually on the map. And then we'll make our decision. Okay, we're all over here this time. Except for- what? Well, that's not good. Why is she all the way over here? How is she supposed to survive all on her own all the way over there? So the bandit leader... Is he heavy armor? No, he's just a warrior. Gotcha, gotcha. There's one heavy armor. What is this? He's a sword master at level 15? So we've got a few armored knights, but not really too much to be worried about. I feel like my character could probably deal with them as well as if we have Dorothea. Should be manageable. Um, we'll probably need Marianne just to keep a healer. Unfortunately, other than that, we're looking at a lot of mages that aren't making it in the squad, like Lawrence, Lysithia. So we should probably try and bring Shamir, maybe, if we can. Who would replace... Who would she replace, though? Maybe Claude, because Claude's already such a high level. Well, I mean, Shamir's not that far behind. To be fair. Ah, I hate that we can only have seven people. This is miserable. <sighs> well, we definitely need to get to work on Lawrence. And I would definitely like to keep Dorothea. Hilda doesn't necessarily need to come. And Leone's really high level, so... So let's drop Claude. And Hilda. We'll bring Shamir and Lawrence. I mean, I would also obviously like to bring Lysithia, but... We could have Lysithia back up uh, Lawrence here. Because he's going to be doing a lot of battling. Good magic training. And then Claude could back someone up as well. Or Leone could back someone up. Leone is very powerful. Or we could have Catherine, because Catherine needs XP. So why don't we have Catherine back up Dorothea? I think this squad will be okay. It's kind of a small squad, but that's all they're leaving us with. So. Lawrence currently has a lance equipped, huh? Should probably take some of his lances off. Are we all magic and range? Okay, that's not gonna do. We can't, we can't do that. That's a bad idea. I didn't think that one through. Um. Uh, oh, we could take out Lawrence and instead bring Claude. And then Lawrence 
could support Dorothea. We could get him XP like that. And then we could bring Catherine instead of Shamir, and Shamir could uh, support Catherine. Gives us a little bit of a front line. Alright. I think that's a little bit better. Defeat the enemy commander. Can't let Hanuman or Manuela die. Even if she's only got herself to blame, we cannot abandon her. We have plenty of visitors today. Let's stop their annoying rescue attempt. Now that is a woman. Uh-oh, they've noticed me. Here they come. So, how are we gonna handle this situation up here? Let's take them out. That's just silence, huh? Well, grab that XP and then we'll figure out your turn next time. If we're trying to save Manuela as fast as possible, then we might want Claude and me to split off here. Ready and willing. And then Can you guys both reach the trees? Yes. So if we put Catherine here. That's my cue. Dorothea behind. My turn. Stay focused. We'll just support Claude. Honey. That should be good. Oh boy. They got two attacks there? They're faster than Catherine? Okay, so how are we going to handle this situation? Because obviously my character needs sword XP pretty badly. So... Hopefully this hits. Should I have held back? I knew you had it in you. Alright, Manuela is gonna need to defend herself. Hmm, it's not great. She could do an okay job, but not fantastic. three people to attack. I think if we start like this, it's probably our best bet. That way we heal some of the damage. Manuel is in a really bad spot, huh? We probably should have brought Leone. We could probably have Hanuman get this. 
Or just push up with Dorothea and let her get it. Fire picks up the kill. Winning's always nice. Then Catherine. Steel Gauntlet's probably the best choice here. So she gets the kill. Or she'll just crit. Fair enough. All right, everyone, keep going this direction. Wait, you have rally strength? Is that right? Oh, rally magic. That's also very good. We should probably, we need to push forward really hard with, uh, with Marianne. Because Marianne can heal Manuela if she pushes forward enough. Hey. Nice dodge. You are no match for me. Experience gem. Manuela is actually doing very well. I feel like white magic is OP. I was thinking about it earlier, like how the main character is designed. I feel like the main character is the best for speedrunning the game because um, not only does your character, are you like able to use faith magic, which seems to be the best for just like sitting in the middle of large groups of enemies, but you also have a budding talent with it that gives you higher avoidance when you're using white magic so it's even better for just sitting in the middle of a very large squad and just like throwing yourself in a bad situation mysterious gem that accelerates growth so experience accelerates growth while the knowledge gem that supports skill acquisition. I don't know. I assume that this is just XP. Yeah, it just says XP, so. So we should equip it probably, because there's no reason not to. And then she can at least make use of it. She does appear to be running out of ammo. Better luck next time. She's already used half of her ammo. Hmm, you're gonna attack me if I go here? That's fine, but be ready to take a counter attack. Also, Dorothea has an iron shield. Oh, he's not gonna counterattack anymore. He changed his mind, huh? Thanks so much. Is that all? <laughs> Try harder. Ouch. Resonant white magic. Do we have one of those? Or did Manuela, is she the first one to have one? Can you attack from here? No. Claude should probably use his bow here because otherwise this situation could get sticky. Never underestimate an outsider. Very good level up.
Can't quite get in range there. That should be a kill. So the second person I was just checking for Lawrence, he does actually get um, class XP. Well, you could just keep using the gauntlets. Let's have Marianne eat an attack. She almost never does. So this does 12 with a 70 hit. It's way stronger. Keep kiting around with Manuela up here. What a bunch of meddlesome losers. Maybe we should take a hostage for leverage. Capture that woman. We'll show them what the Death God Gang's made of. Death God Gang? What kind of childish nonsense? Where's the Death Knight? <laughs> ah, you're out of Claude's range? Oh, you went melee range. Genius. You're about to get destroyed. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Manuela's gonna need some help here soon. Ouch. I've still got it. I'm not at my best today. Oh boy, we need to hurry up and help. Manuela because her situation is worsening. That should be an easy kill. Sorry, the victory is mine. I like the Lord aesthetic with the sword. Really? Wrath strike him. I suppose I am playing a priest class and expecting my swords to do more damage. Oh, this is gonna get hairy real soon, huh? Oh, you can run down here? I didn't realize that. That might be a good escape plan for you. Yeah, it's time for you to escape, I think. Wouldn't want you to actually die. So what's better here, gauntlets or sword? Sword appears to be better because we'll... It's a much lower chance that we get hit. Can't move right there. Oh, is she dead? I won't 
Oh, come on. That's annoying. So where do we move Manuela then? Cause she can't run away apparently. Let's take them out. She runs here. I guess at least she's out of range. This is highly annoying. What's it looking like if I stay in the forest? Probably not good. So I guess just run and hope that Claude gets over there because... Honestly, I didn't realize this little path was here. Otherwise, I probably would have run away sooner. But now, apparently, it is impossible because... Pegasus Knights are already over here. I'll crush them all. Now oh, shoot. She might be dead. She's in such a bad spot. There's just nothing I could do to help her. Ah, this battle went so poorly because it takes for oh no, I didn't mean to do that It takes forever to get these units through here. Like I've been traveling at pretty much max speed possible We need Leone for this fight or something. She's just dead like You don't have a uh, teleport do you no I, I Don't think she can survive It's physically impossible I think we have to... Or to the battle selection screen. I think we gotta retreat to before the battle. Is there not just a way to exit? Can I just reload from my save? Because it's right at the start of the battle. <laughs> Do I have to like exit out of the game to do that? I'm not seeing any options, so let's just reload, I suppose. That's highly annoying. Ugh. I really do dislike how they do that in battles where some units won't move and then all of a sudden they'll just start moving. It really takes away from it. Cause like if they had the intention of moving, they should have always been moving. But whatever. I really just don't want to redo it because it's just boring. Well, we definitely need to bring Leone, is apparently required. So Catherine's out, Leone's in. Um, What do you do for adjutants? We could probably assist Manuela with an adjutant. That would likely help the situation. Alright, let's try this then. Oh, uh, we, do we need to change the organization? Leone needs to be over here. Other than that, doesn't really matter.
Okay, let's try that again, I suppose. In a tough spot, Professor. Even... <laughs> now that. Uh oh. Let's get to it. All right, Leonie. Leonie's almost done with that class. I didn't even realize. Stay focused. Well, that's not very much damage. So I guess we'll do the same thing, only with Claude this time. That's my cue. My turn. Um, do I need to go help Leone? Probably not. I could go over here and fight this guy, but... Don't think I need to help Leone in any way. This time, before they start moving towards me, Try harder. let's just preempt all that. You were no match for me. My moment has arrived. <laughs> it's not luck. It's fate. I like that crit animation. That one's good. Life doesn't always go as planned. That takes care of that. Ow. He missed every single attack. I also noticed that Claude just recovered more HP than Leone. Go ahead and equip this. She could probably start running towards Leone right now. Uh, give me that sword. Thea can finish off this kill. I've got many skills, you know. Claude might need a heal before he actually goes to fight. Necessary crit. <laughs> it's already gonna be a one shot. Thanks so much.
That's a nice roll. Alright, can Manuela help with this guy or not really. What does this heal tile give? Defense and resistance for non-flyers. A darting blow. And Manuela can go right here. Might as well just heal her, why not? Yeah, that truly helped. I feel like I got different level ups than last time, which is a little frustrating because I think Claude's was actually worse. Never underestimate an outsider. We're getting caught back up to where we were. Unfortunate turn of events that lead led to us having to redo it, but not my first battle. Claude has Axe Breaker, I believe, so... Should be... Oh, he doesn't have an Axe Breaker, he has a Lance Breaker. Oh. Fire is... Oh, no, don't unequip that, that would be bad. safe. I suppose we could fight our way back up here. Punch me. I grasped it. How lovely. Now. Well, good thing we dodged that one. You? You? It's amazing. So we might as well switch to this one. Has higher range, so it'll let us attack back. Well, that's just harsh. I like the laser beam. Laser beam is cool. Let's wait for Claude to win this battle first, in case we have to heal him. Sorry, but victory is mine. Ooh, is Pegasus Knight is just running right past?
Alright, I don't like that. So just sit right in front of Manuel out here. Wait, who still has a turn? Oh, my, my character. This seems like a mistake. <laughs> I won't go down so easily. I'll celebrate later. Leone so strong. Well, let's get rid of this guy. You can't use... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't have grounder equipped. I thought I did equip it. I guess not. I need more sword XP and then maybe I could make Leone and do some sort of sword class for a little while. I think Manuela could get behind her and heal her up a little bit. first. Oh no, Hanuman, you're in the way. Sort of kill you can. I've still got it. Getting stronger all the time. So we can definitely have Manuela go back and get this XP over here. I think Leone's just gonna go clean up this last guy in the background. And then go help the rest of the squad. I want to make sure we get this rapier. Let's rally you. Oh, Leone doesn't need healing. I mean, you might as well heal her, though, for XP. So nice of you. So it looks like a mage is gonna go after me. Oh, the arrow guy doesn't actually move. I see. I thought it was the arrow guy who was targeting you. Now I like this a little bit less, so. That's the golden deer for you.
So, oh, you could still attack Leone while she's up here. Where is that mage going? At least we managed to beat this battle, as annoying as it was to have to redo it. Mm. Maybe we should arrow you? No, that doesn't really help. Just try not to randomly die, Leone. That would be bad. That doesn't one shot. Oh, you have the long range magic as well. Ouch. I want someone else to get the kill. What if you use a different magic? None of the magics are gonna give you the kill, huh? What if Claude fights this man in arrow combat? Nope, he still just destroys him. That hurts a lot, but it accomplishes what I'm after as long as this guy doesn't get aggro. This should work out. All roses have thorns. Nice. I thought I gave it my all. Oh, that was Lawrence. Yeah, that was not good, buddy. You're supposed to level magic now. My character can come up here and heal. Thirty four HP, that's amazing. I'm grateful. Hey, should we have Leone finish up those other fights or just get on with it? I think get on with it. Oh, Claude can just win. Alright, well. Unless you miss and he hits you, then it's a problem. We are the Death God Gang. We're all unstoppable. Too easy. Unstoppable. How could I have stopped that man? I expected as much. Manuela, are you uninjured? A few scrapes and bruises, but yes. I forgot to move her onto the XP tile. Oh, whatever. I'm 
mini bow. I don't think we have one of those. We only managed to save the day. Macuyu? Macuyu? I don't know how to say that word. Evil Repelling Company was added. Indec Sword Fighters. That would, might be a good one for Hilda with the heavy armor and all. Why, thank you so How could anyone think that was the Death Knight? It was obviously just an ordinary bandit. Oh well, I may not have found my revenge, but at least we got to retrieve stolen goods. Manuela, you unthinking fool. Hanuman, I've heard enough already. How bloody stupid are you? <laughs> if that were the real death knight, you'd have new, likely fatal wounds to match your first. Do you know how much you worried all of us? You should be ashamed. Oh, no. This is a matter of life and death. It should not and must not be taken lightly. I mean, well, I agree with Hanuman. I can't constantly be bad or mean to only Manuela. You're right. So there, I said that. It's true, but... Ugh. I'm sorry. I'll apologize to everyone later. <sighs> I should say I'm sorry as well. I lost my temper just now. I see you act so irrationally, and I lose my wits. I care about you a great deal, and wish to see you safe. Will you believe me? Yes, of course. I'm the same way, after all. I let my emotions get the best of me. Ugh, we're both too old to be shouting all the time. You're awfully quick to put a bow on this. Are you sick of us already, <laughs> You're part of this, Professor. We are the only teachers this academy has. No need for bickering. Well said, Hanuman. Would you care to join me for a celebratory drink? That sounds lovely. Perhaps a nice cup of tea is in order. I'm not sure that's the drink she was talking about, but whatever. Okay, so the other level 15 one is this one. Ignatz and Raphael, two sons of merchant families, set out to put an end to a series of monster attacks on merchants. Oh boy, we're fighting some monsters, huh? Hopefully, unfortunately, it's probably going to include Raphael and Ignatz, two people who aren't part of my squad, so it's really throwing a wrench into my situation all the time, but whatever. Death toll. So basically, we just gotta defeat their leader, right? Then why don't we approach from. Uh, that won't work at all. Horses won't fit through there. <laughs> I can't figure this out. I give up. But enemies never move how you want them to in a real battle, do they? Oh, they can. I reckon I learned better on the battlefield. Professor, I need to speak with you. Ignaz, you all right? I received a letter from my brother back home. There's some disturbing news. Monsters have been attacking merchants within the Alliance territories. That happens all the time. I mean, that's how my parents died, so... Uh, Raphael... I didn't mean to bring up such a sensitive topic in your presence. Hey, don't worry about that. Come on, let's hear the rest of it. Very well. These attacks seem to be focused on specific merchants. Those who are traveling from the territory of House Gloucester to the Regan Dukedom. Merchants traveling in the opposite direction, from Regan to Gloucester, don't suffer nearly as many attacks. That doesn't make any sense. Someone's got to deal with those monsters, though. Agreed. 
At this rate, my father and brother can't conduct business without risking their lives. Professor, could you assist me? I need your help exterminating these creatures. Now you're talking. I'm going too. I'm not learning anything in a classroom. You're gonna go, right, Professor? Don't you want to help these folks? Alrighty, let's do it. Yeah, I knew you couldn't resist. Thank you so much, Professor. And Raphael, I can't begin to express my gratitude. So hopefully it's not another mission where we have to bring Leone. Because Leone's already maxed out her class. She's like the highest level out of anyone. She needs to slow it down with all the carrying that she's doing. I have gratitude. Jump, jump. Okay, let's look at our units. Oh, we get 11 people this time. Much better. I like that a lot more. Manuela and Hahnemann, you get out of here. Hilda, you're in. Petra's in. Right, Ignatz and Raphael are forced to be in. Let's reset this menu so it lines it all up nicely. I'd like to bring Lysithia. We can have two adjutants, but we currently only have one. Catherine is helping me. Let's get rid of that momentarily. I think we need to do inventory management on Lawrence. He's got way too many things. Especially since he's just casting spells from now on. Get rid of all these lances. Um, other inventory management. We want Manuela's experience orb or gem. We would like to unequip that from you. Oh, I guess you don't need these training columns either. Who wants the experience gem? Marianne can't equip it. I think Lawrence should equip it because he doesn't really need a shield. Oh, the, wait, the rapier should probably go in the pocket. But at the same time, Petra could just take the rapier now. Instead of the armor slayer. Like, the armor slayer is all good and dandy, but the rapier takes care of both uh, horses and... And we'll just have to check what actually repairs it at some point because it might be very difficult to repair as it seems like a very strong weapon. Um, so let's give Lawrence the experience orb or gem. Equip that. Don't need the iron shield then. Raphael still has a leather shield, so you might as well... Actually, we should give the iron shield to Catherine. Store that leather shield. If anyone else ever needs a leather shield, then we have an extra. Is everyone else's inventory in order? Leone, you don't need this stuff down here. I think we're all good inventory wise. Except for this. What is this doing here? You also probably don't need this. But maybe it's good to have her keep it just for now. So, can I get Lysithia in here anywhere? Oh, instead of Leone. Leone doesn't need to be here. 
So Lysithia should be in instead of Leone. And now, who is going to help who? Raphael and Ignatz are going to struggle a little bit. So they should probably have help. Although maybe not because I might not attack with them much. Let's let's check out the map. Are they off somewhere stupid? Like how Manuela was? Okay, so Raphael's over here with half the squad. And Ignatz is over here with half the squad. So they're not somewhere stupid. So that means they don't necessarily need adjutants. Catherine's going to be an adjutant for someone. Who is it going to be? Claude is so strong. He really... I feel like Dorothy is going to take a lot of fights. Catherine could really use a lot of XP. So... Set an adjutant. Catherine... You can only set one. Okay. And then... Who else is going to take a lot of fights? I mean, Marianne's probably going to be doing a lot of healing, which is also valuable, because it gives XP to the adjutant. Oh, Lawrence is going to be taking a lot of fights. Um, it could be Flane, it could be Ash, probably Flane, because I see maybe actually using Flane. Leonie's also good, but she's already maxed out, so... At the moment, not a good idea. So I think that takes care of that. We just need to make sure that people are organized well. So Petra and my character are the tanks over here. But we have three spellcasters. What do we have over here? We have Raphael, Hilda, and Forge. Rangers. Oh, actually, no. We also have we also have Claude. I think uh, Petra and Hilda should switch. I think that will be good enough for me. Make sure we move Claude and Petra to the front. And unfortunately, we can't move Raphael to the front. Just because it forces us to put him there. But I think we can take on the fight like this. Yes, begin the battle. Monsters! Be gone! Oh, where did that one come from? Look, the monsters are attacking those merchants again. Looks like there's some humans mixed in there. Maybe they're controlling the monsters. They are. Do you think we just have to take out the leader? Let's get started. Before it's too late. The merchants could probably escape. But we gotta get rid of those enemies who are blocking the path. Look, a drawbridge. We can use that to cross, but we'll need to lower it first. Rescue the merchants and get them off the battlefield. You can get rewards depending on how many you help escape. Okay, so obviously I have to save them all. What is the condition again? Defeat the enemy commander. So that means I am in no rush as long as this commander does not move. We do have two monsters so far. Both of which are not very tough, because they have all their plates broken, or cracked at least. So we should start off by saving the merchants as quickly as possible. Which probably means sending both squads straight down. This squad to take out this uh, beast, and this squad to save the merchants. After that we can deal with the rest of the fight shouldn't be a big problem because I don't even think the monster, this monster would have to go all the way around so it can't even get down here. So let's turn on ranges and get started. Ready anytime. Is this a bad idea? It might be. Who, me? 
So, Hilda, just pick up whatever that is. Stay focused. Has a 24% chance to crit. Nope, didn't happen. Does Ignatz have a long range spell? Leave it to me. Lysithia does. But she can't really get in range for it. So how's this attack going? I think we just have my character get attacked and keep everyone else safe. We need to make sure Marianne can heal the merchants if things start to get bad. I will get the victory. So unfortunately that puts us in range of this monster. So we should mark that. But this is not in range. But if we want to be able to count, does this bow guy have extra range? He does, so it doesn't matter what we do. Ready and willing. Can Lawrence reach this guy? No. Well, he can probably reach I this guy. Ready. That's not great. Well, he's only taking two damage, but he's not dealing a, as much as I'd like. But how else is he gonna get XP, I suppose? To work. How much damage does Shamir do? She leaves him with one HP, which is pretty much perfect. Okay, never mind, he's dead. <laughs> Alrighty then. You did it. She's still gonna get attacked by that guy. I think we'll have Petra take this fight. Will that agitate this monster? Yes, yes it will. But I think this monster is only set on going after the merchants at the moment. Flame spirit protects me. I got this. Bob Raphael go there. That's my cue. <clears throat> Dorothea can go here. And equip fire. All right, let's do this. Nice dodge. You fought well. Such power dwells within. That's a really good level up. Okay. The monster changed his mind and decided it hated Petra. So, we just gotta make sure we break all of his plates. If... I 
I would like Lawrence to get the kill if at all possible. So Dorothea could probably kill the archer, but not exactly what I'm looking for here. Petra can step up. Hit this one, which will kill. I'm sure most people are going to kill here. Oh, Shamir should leave it alive. So that should leave it open for Lawrence to pick up a kill. Or at least break the plate and get one health bar. Do you have a more accurate magic? So 84 is what we're working with. Nice. And then we got one left. How much would Claude do? Oh, come on, man. So this thing can't attack at the moment. Patrick could go over here and leave room for Raphael. But Petra's gonna be able to kill it, so. We could give it to Raphael, but like I said, he's not really part of our squad. This might be the last mission he ever goes on. Oh not not Bo. I didn't miss any chests anywhere, right? No, we're all good, I think. So did everyone move over here? Raphael still needs to move. Why don't you pick up that item? Now, I'm sure Petra will probably win that fight. Hilda's got her hand axes that she can chuck at people. Oh my goodness. Lysithio, <laughs> why? That's just rude. What are these poor people supposed to do? Should I have held back? Keep picking up all these kills with magic. What I really need is to get them with uh, my sword. You have really good resistance. Do you have really good resistance? Not nearly as much. 
So I think Marianne will come tank this. You can sit next to her. What do you have equipped? Fire? That's probably fine. <laughs> Actually just doesn't do damage. Goodbye. My heart is full of victory. Where are you going? No. Wrong move. Well, they're all dead. Why? How was I supposed to know they were all going to kill themselves? If I didn't open the drawbridge immediately. I haven't even gotten over there yet. Like they're just dead. That's not fair. Oh my goodness. We, we need to go back in time. So So this is fine. Stay focused. We need my character Even that doesn't help, does it? I have 6 charges of divine pulse. What what in the world? Oh, I made it all the way back to the beginning. That's not really what I want. I needed to move faster earlier on, like an entire turn ago. Because they all, they just kill themselves right now. They just choose to die. Which that doesn't really seem fair. If they just didn't do that, it'd be perfectly fine. I don't understand why why they had to why did they make their AI so they just kill themselves? I wanted to get rewards for saving them, but apparently they just commit suicide for literally no reason. Ready anytime. That actually makes me incredibly mad. Why would they design it like that? Like, they're fine there. I've been doing the battle perfectly. I would have to restart the battle to save them. Just because I didn't know they would act so stupidly. I guess I could run into the middle of the battle. Put myself in danger. To attempt to save these guys. How much defense do you have? Probably not enough, but... That's the only guy you can silence? That sucks. Maybe it's me luring this guy that makes them move. If it is, then that's incredibly dumb. Oh, 
I might have to try it again without luring that guy. Yep, they just all kill themselves right now. There's nothing I can do because I'm not close enough. Like, I pretty much just have to start running into the middle of this battle. Hoping... This is stupid. If one of them does die, I'm gonna retry it with not luring this mage, and if that doesn't work, then it was impossible. I can get the monster to come attack me. It's not great, but... Might lead to the merchant's survival. Yeah, I mean, the merchants are definitely going to live. The monster's going to do a lot of damage to Marianne. Leave it to me. Who, me? So Hilda's going to need to work her way over here to block the monster. Actually, can you just run? Yeah. Just run all the way. This guy will just chase and kill himself. Doesn't matter. I got this. Ooh, Raphael can attract that for whatever reason. That's my cue. Okay, don't want to do that. That would be dumb. We're already making a lot of dumb moves. Let's not be too awfully dumb. So you're still going for Marianne, right? Yep. Ready and willing. Okay, let's see how this turn goes then. Hopefully these guys all turn around and go the other direction. Sorry, did I hurt you? Ouch. Oh, wow. That's lucky. Alright, my character... Can't heal that guy because these other guys are in the way. Uh, my character will come in here and try and stop this mage. Hilda can't actually help. Of course not. They're all blocking each other's ways. This sucks. So if Hilda sits here, he shouldn't be able to run past at all. Oh, he's doing that move. 
So Marianne's gonna run. Heal this guy. Good. Ignatz is also going to back up. <clears throat> Fine if we stay here. So he's gonna keep doing that move even though we're not in range? Okay. <clears throat> Wonder if we should just take out a health bar here? Okay, what does this spell do? I need to read what it does before we go using it on things. Advanced dark magic calls morbid might of the underworld. That's not scary at all. So this takes out a health bar, but it's only got a 61% chance to hit. I think we just go with the highest chance to hit right now. Because I don't think he's going to hit us back. Alright, let's solve this dilemma without people getting killed, preferably. So let's start off with Shamir. Really? Curved shot kills, so. Sleep in the dirt. Now, Lawrence could probably get this kill. Hey, Flame leveled up. I feel my strength building. Um, we got some XP things over here. Level up. Um, can Raphael grab this piece of equipment? Yes. But he's gonna take an attack. Do you have like a drawback or something? No. I don't see Raphael dying, so... Suppose I could have used that. That probably would have worked. Alright, let's see if we've done everything correctly, or at least mostly correct. <clears throat> Why can you just run past? Excuse you? At least Marianne took out a health bar, but why can he just run through Hilda like that? What in the world? Do they have like some ability that I wasn't aware of? Reduces damage, okay, okay. Uh... 
During combat with a foe two or more spaces away. What about abilities? Allows unit to pass through. Oh my. Jesus, I hate you. Okay, so we need to break all the plates right now. That does 12. Also 12. But a much higher chance to crit. We don't really need the crit damage, so... So we need to just make sure that Hilda actually hits. So 14 damage should be plenty. And then, I think we'll just give this kill to Lysithia. Well, this whole situation was almost really bad. Next time it shows him moving past my unit, even though I think he shouldn't be able to, I should probably believe that he will. Because he almost killed Marianne. I don't know if you saw how close it was. He was going to double attack for 13, and he had a 44% chance to crit because he was below 25% health, which greatly increases his crit chance. So that was a very bad situation. Crush you. All the merchants are safe. The glory of okay, now we just have to win the rest of the battle. Hmm, that doesn't kill. I mean, I'm fine with Lawrence getting it, but... Nobles must... Hey, look at you! <laughs> Another one down. She only needs 10 more battles, and then she can go back to Sniper. Strength is all for a mercenary. Do I want her to take that? Probably have Claude do it instead. What kind of magic are you using? It's only got one to two range, but he's also evil. Okay. So a bow should be able to counterattack him. Grab this XP. Good to go. We don't really need Raphael for the rest of the fight. Oh, I probably should have heal focused or whatever. It's not luck, it's fate. Is 
So I think we'll make sure that all the villagers are at full health before he gets into the edge of the map. Just because I feel like it. Apologies. So I wonder if I can reach Marianne. Nope, not quite. We do need Hilda to get to her riding class faster because she moves very slowly. Is this guy a healer? Yeah. So he can't exactly do any damage ever. Let's try this out. Oh, he can use it on other people, I guess? I didn't know that. Alright, well, seeing as this fight is pretty over, I'm gonna make sure that either Lawrence, Shamir, or Dorothea pick up these last, I think. Might have Lysithia try and take one, but. Make sure all the villagers get free first. I don't know if they actually have to escape or if I could have just killed the commander and it would have counted, but. Oh boy, Lysithia can just crush this guy. She's already 22 though. Well, I'm not even gonna look at you. Well, my character can heal Marianne. Marianne can just heal anyone. Shamir's 22. Lawrence is 21. Dorothy has 19. But she can't even get in range to attack this turn. I love this staff on Lysithia, it's so good. Alright, let's see. Lawrence can't attack from there. Should be able to attack from here. Out of curiosity. If we go like this, like this, it should boost his damage, right? If I understand supports. It boosted his accuracy, it doesn't boost damage it looks like. Fair enough. So we can have Shamir weaken him and then Lawrence, I believe, can kill. What do you think you're doing? Don't get in the way of our duty. Your duty? You're letting monsters wreak havoc on innocent people. Shut it. It's got nothing to do with you. This general doesn't seem to realize he's the only one left. Everyone else is highly dead. All right, time to die, General. That's an interesting looking spell. I'm not looking forward to telling the Count. Looks like we took care of him. That man mentioned the Count. What could Count Gloucester have to do with all this?
How did you possibly get MVP? What did you do? Just because I gave you the boss kill? That can't possibly be it. Less Lester Mercenaries. Victor Private Military. We should really try and use some of these rare battalions. Since right now all the paralogs we're doing apparently give battalions. Thank you so much. We're safe now and it's all due to your efforts. I can't bear to think what might have happened if you hadn't shown up. Yay! A happy ending for everyone. If you don't mind me asking, were you headed to the Regan Dukedom? We were. We traveled around the Alliance selling our wares. I heard this route was dangerous, but... Dangerous, you say? Are you referring to the recent cases of merchants being attacked on that route? That's right. We can't turn a profit without going to Deirdre. I don't know what Count Gloucester is thinking. I had a feeling it might be. You're certain? Looks that way. I think he's unhappy with merchants contributing to House Regan's wealth. It seems like he's been at odds with them forever. They say even the previous Duke Regan's death. Was that the Count's fault too? It's only a rumor, but it was Count Gloucester himself who lured the late Duke Regan out. If I recall correctly, he invited the Duke to his estate to strike a deal on some valuable art pieces. I believe the Duke brought a pair of merchants with him to assess the pieces in question, but... Alas, it seems those merchants lost their lives alongside him. A terrible misfortune. I wish these nobles wouldn't get us common folk mixed up in their feuds. You came from Garrett Mock, right? I'll send some wares your way as thanks for all your help. Yeah, that was my ma and pa. My parents received the request initially, but they had other business. They recommended Raphael's parents as substitutes. We could never have imagined. Yes, he's Lawrence's father. Okay, okay, that's enough of that. It's just a rumor, right? So who cares? Even if it's true, that's our parents' business. It's got nothing to do with us. But you... You got no idea what really happened, right, Ignatz? And I bet Lawrence doesn't know either. The way I see it, it was monsters that killed my parents. They died in an accident. I got no reason to hate anyone or blame somebody else for their deaths. I don't have time for that. I got my little sis to worry about instead. Raphael. Now that that's settled, let's head back. What do you think that merchant's gonna send us? I hope it's food. Hmm. Yes, he really is. Wow, they sent us lots of stuff. Oh, now I get to send it to the convoy. Last time it was discard. Maybe they just accidentally labeled that one as discard when it was supposed to be sent to the convoy. Such a sad story. It's not the first time we've heard that story though. Oh, we got instructions still. So I don't think we're changing any of our goals. We can instruct Lawrence. Dorothea still has a budding talent that we need to work on. Ash still has a budding talent we need to work on. So, since you're doing reason now, you are going to need to train that very rigorously. You don't have a budding talent, right? I don't think you've ever had one. He should level up uh, riding on his own. 
the reason I will help him with. Perfect. It was only a this was He's doing so well. To understand a great deal. All right, and Leone. Do you need some help with flying or should mm, I think her flying needs to be higher. I don't think her sword needs to be quite as high. So, we should probably help with this one. Two perfects already. I've learned a Three perfects. I'm getting it. Three perfects and a great. That has to be the best possible leveling up session. Except maybe if you throw like a bad in there to get another motivation up. Obviously you could have gotten five perfects, but... Come on. It's pretty good. All right, Dorothea, let's work on this right here. Perfect. I got it. You're quite the motivator, Professor. I appreciate your coaching, Professor. Oh, I see now. Still no stars, huh? Oh, there's one star. Alright, we got three people left. Might as well deal with the full motivation people. And then probably Ash to try and get him a little bit of work on his budding talent. So you have C in flying and B in axes. So let's work on your flying. Could have kept going. This isn't so hard. Hanuman. Hmm. Riding, huh? Trying to become a dark knight over here. What should we train with him? Could just work on his riding. Have him be a possible candidate for a Dark Knight. Just as a... No matter how old one gets, it's always nice to hear job well done. Just as Just as I've always three perfects and two goods, huh? Pretty good, Hanuman. All right, Ash. I've learned a lot. There's one star. We're all done with that. Let's begin the lecture. Well, mm, is there anything I want to change? Lysithia is still working on both. Marianne's still working on Holy Night or whatever the heck. Paladin, something like that. Dorothea, really, I don't know what she's supposed to be working on once she becomes a dancer. I can't imagine that she'll ever use her turn for herself. Dancers really never do that, so... Because you, you just, like, keep the healer right next to the dancer. Keep the DPS right next to the dancer. Why, why would the dancer ever take a turn besides to give the DPS or the healer another turn to do what they need to do. See what I'm getting at here? Or even if you have like a really slow tank like Hilda, just have the dancer accelerate the speed at which the tank can traverse the map. It's really OP. Assuming that's how dancers work in this game, which I don't see why that would change it. Professor. You want to be... A wyvern rider. Which I am probably fine with. 
I just need to, the reason I've kept him on Lance and Flying is mostly so I don't lose sight of their budding talents. But it's so unlikely that his budding talent is going to remember. I'll try and remember it whenever we instruct him to go for it. Like, obviously I'll see it when I go to instruct him. The question is, is will I ever instruct him? So I think making him a Wyvern Rider is fine. Because then we need someone to pair up with Leone still, obviously. Gentlemen, my sincerest apologies for the wait. Thank you for gathering here on the eve of the highly anticipated ball to bear witness to the Academy Wide Dance Competition. Welcome to the White Heron Cup. The competition will be judged by me, your humble servant, Alois Rongel, and also. The acclaimed former songstress of the Mittelfrank Opera Company, Manuela Casagranda! Yes, yes, thank you. Oh, and it should go without saying, but I swear to show no bias to my own house. Got it? Good. Last but not least, the glamorous assassin who does all of her dancing in the dead of night, Shamir! Navron! Hmm. The three of us are <laughs> on our honor to judge the following proceedings with utmost impartiality and fairness. And with that, will the representatives of each house please make their way to the stage? Contestants, are you ready to dance? What the heck were the other houses doing? Well, I guess the other houses don't have that many choices anymore because I've recruited very many of their people. But you picked Edelgard and Dudu? Like, excuse me? I feel like you could have found better people, but sure. Very well. Begin! That's all, folks! Splendid! All three of you were fantastic! <laughs> now, let's hear what the judges have to say. Oh my, let's see. I suppose I have no choice but to vote for... The Golden Deer House. I must say I was surprised by your inventive style. I vote for... Golden Deer House. The way you carried yourself was striking. Great feedback, both of you. Well then, let's see. Factoring in my own humble opinion. Yes, we have a winner. And I will announce who it is right now. Without <laughs> any delay. The winner of this year's White Heron Cup is... The Golden Deer House. I like how we won as the Golden Deer House with someone not from the Golden Deer House originally. I wonder if I can use this to bolster my singing career. Once more, please give a big round of applause for our talented participants. I still think it would have been funny to pick Claude. By winning the White Heron Cup, Dorothea obtained the certification for the dancer class. Learned the Sword Dance Combat Art and the Sword Avoidance Plus 20 ability. It's Dimitri's birthday. Should we have a... Nah, just send him flowers. I don't care. Good enough, Professor? Where are the perfects at? The heck, I demand more. Perhaps I'll expand the scope of my research. I always was a quick study. 
I'm getting it. Bow Prow is level five. She's at A plus. Amazing. I appreciate your effort. Takes place at the beginning of week three. Select a student to Okay, we, we finished it. So we should have gotten enough renown to uh, level up at the statues. Question is, is if I actually want to do that or not. Um, looks like we got a whole bunch of supports that we'll probably have to save because it's already pretty far into this one. But I do want to make sure I reclass Dorothea. It, oh, it's a it's a unique class. The dancer energizes allies with inspiring movement, allowing them to act again. This class also wields magic. Cool, so she can still do magic in this class. Do I want to? Oh, uh, there's no way she's gonna finish up mage anytime soon. She can maybe come back to mage if she needs to. But for now, definitely would like her on Dancer. Yes. A balance of brawn and beauty. How do you even see what the Dancer class looks like? Can you only see it under like certifications? I want to see what the unique class looks like. Alright, well that's that's a little bit more revealing than I was expecting. Do we have anything else that is ready to level up? I think my character is still far away from... I mean, I just got to B+, so... Yeah, still kind of far away from getting to A. But I should have an okay chance at passing. Should be like 66%, right? Oh, that's seventy percent. That's not even that bad. I wonder if I should finish up priest though. I feel like I should. Who else? Claude's still working on his thing. Oh, so is Dark Bishop in here now? Yeah, it is. A dark magic specialist. He also gets Fiendish Blow. Oh, this is class abilities. I doubt you could stack Fiendish Blows. That would be kind of weird, but it'd be cool. Um, don't care about these two really anymore, unfortunately. Just kind of how my squad has developed. Leone does need to change classes for sure. She would prefer to go to an advanced class if possible. But she would no longer be flying, which is a problem. I kind of need her to be flying to do her job. What does this require? B plus in flying and A in lance. So I'm going to need more lance and more flying. I mean, you're you're close-ish on both. You're two segments away from both. So... We should maybe see if she can pass the paladin test, because if she can then that would allow her to do more lancing. Is that even a good idea? Is there maybe a different class that would suit it better? I'm not seeing anything. Because we have like regular cavalry. I don't get why the advanced only has wyvern rider. 
Like you have to just skip out on uh, flying for 10 levels. That seems really weird. Let's make her into a paladin if possible. It might not actually happen. But she's still got another five levels, so like... She needs something to do. All that hard work's paid off. Yeah, change to that class. And then we'll need to make sure that she actually uses lances a little bit more for a while. Um, Petra is still not quite done with her class. She needs six more battles and then she can go to Assassin. Um, other than that... I don't think there's anything else that we can do at the moment. Should I try for sword? Oh, well, I guess I'm finishing up priest, like I said, so no, not trying for sword master right now. Probably just gonna go straight to hero over here with Claude once he finishes Lord. But Lord's gonna take him a little while. Plus, he needs a B in sword. He's almost there. Yeah, he'll, he'll be there in no time. And then Lawrence will work towards Dark Bishop and eventually Dark Knight. All good there. Yeah, I think we're in a good state. Probably sell things in between episodes and we'll go from there. Either way, hopefully you enjoyed this one. We had a little bit of uh, mess ups. The first one we had to like hard restart from our save just because battle was going so poorly and I could have just uh, divine pulsed back to the beginning but I wanted to put Leone into the fight instead and I didn't know exactly what the retreat meant maybe I should have tried out the retreat but it, it doesn't really matter it was gonna accomplish the same thing which was get us back to the start of the battle but either way hopefully you enjoyed this one we also figured out how to save all the merchants they gave us lots of good stuff Hopefully you enjoyed and I will see you next time.